this morning. I've got an interesting composition here. And I'm kind of working with the, the lens I have and the camera I have. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. It's kind of a place here where the water has been draining off this higher bit of sand into the lower bit of sand. Of course that early morning light coming across the bay and it's really beautiful at the moment, that low angle of a reflection. And I'm sure if I spend some time with this, I'll get something that I'm happy with. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Seagull over here. Sharing the morning with me. Another person down the beach ways, and it's nice that they didn't come over here. It's kind of that respect in the morning that anyone who comes out on a cold November morning is here for for something or the beauty of this moment. I don't expect sunrise to be spectacular. Oh, got some nice seagulls coming in here. Um, and you know, in a lot of ways, that's not sort of why I'm here this morning. You know, it's kind of the excuse, I guess. We come for, we come for the sunrise, but really it's just, this opportunity to be here in this quiet early morning. So cold. Huh. So cold. And there's something about this beach. Um, there's an expanse, an openness. One of the things on Vancouver Island is there's so much forest and you can get kind of overwhelmed by that. <laughs> the, the pressure of the trees just consuming every open space and there hasn't been the same type of sort of level of agriculture to push back the the forest. So on the beach here, we get this beautiful sense of openness and ah, you can breathe. I was here the other day, um, early morning, um, photographing the Dunlins. Um, I can see some ducks here out on the, on the edge of the sand where the water meets. Here you can kind of see that place I was mentioning where the water is flowing down into the into the lower uh, level of the sand there. I'm gonna try to go a little bit closer here. A little bit more detail as some of the color comes comes in the sky here. I may have had the best color this morning. It's hard to say sometimes is not oh actually this is really nice yeah i've been really drawn to these abstract shots yeah something about november i'm not sure what it is but i often get drawn to these more abstract shots See that? Beautiful, just beautiful. I know I often I often see these 
places and I think well, I've taken that shot and I've already taken several of that shot but uh, but then I get home and it's like whoa should have taken another one it's that presence of mind when you're in the field to to sort of see what what isn't jumping out to your brain right away but to really yeah really be present oh wow just missed a big flock of birds coming across the coming across the scene there even though I, I say it's not about the sunrise I have to say it is about the sunrise because <laughs> gosh it's just so gorgeous the light it's the light this early morning Burning more early morning light And then looking at it through the, the camera lens. Just. Yeah, just something special about that. Part of it is the, the process of finding that composition. That combination of elements in the vi visual field that are most attractive. The cold kind of reminds you of how fragile it is, this life we have. How thankful to have a warm car to go back to. Yeah. Sun's on its way. What time is it? 7.30. Huh. Not sure where I saw that. It's like it's a receding. The reflection is out there. As I made my way further down the beach, uh, I came across these patches of kelp backlit by the rising sun. And uh, when I got down uh, near the water level, waited for the ripples from my uh, walking to subside, I was able to get some really lovely shots of the, uh, the kelp in, reflected in the, in the very tranquil water. So this turned out to be uh, an obvious subject that I couldn't pass up. Yeah, just a sense of, sense of this flowing water. Into the morning. It's the slowness of this outgoing water that really has me. I love, I love the patterns in the, the kelp, kelp strands here. Oh wow. Just echoing the colors. I do love this. Oh, look at that, that's interesting. Right into the sun. But down low where this kelp in front here. It could be really interesting. Got the sharpness of the mountains in the background. 
with his beautiful get even lower here and when I come in on these it does the opposite I get this beautiful kelp with the background completely Again, we're getting some fabulous shots of these abstract shapes. Yeah, sun coming in through this stuff. Very lovely. As I'm sitting here taking these images, the water's flowing past me. Wow. Carrying little strands of kelp. Just the color in this kelp is gorgeous. I just can't get enough of it. It's with the transition into the into the background there, I feel so fortunate to have <clears throat> come on a day when there was this beautiful patch of kelp here you don't always get. It's been left by the tide. Talk about abstract shots. These are just so gorgeous. Just, it's almost like everywhere I look, you can't get a bad shot here. These colors are just incredible. That was the original thing that caught my eye, but Oh wow, look at that. Talk about fortuitous. That's gorgeous. Come in close here. Too close. This clamshell uh, was wrapped in uh, some seaweed and made a lovely subject with that early morning light streaming across the flat and glistening beach. I wandered around for quite a while after this looking for more compositions, but uh, the sun was already getting up a little high and so um, that uh, amazing golden light vanished fairly quickly and uh, so I thought, well, I've had a really good day out here on the beach. It's time to, to head off and have some breakfast. And that's what I did. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if so, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you enjoy watching this kind of video, please also subscribe. Thanks so much.